Hi friends, following our last video on graph uh, where we introduced the, the um, graph builder kind of a, a video for a particular tabular data set, relational data set on, and we built the graph followed to that, uh, we would like to kind of um, share essentially a, a very important feature of Cosmos DB for graph also. Uh, so this is about change feed um, based on certain vertex being added into your graph in the event if you would like to trigger certain uh, action um, you can do so by the Cosmos uh, DB change feeds um, so let's say we have this graph I've just kind of uh, introduced and, and added two uh, vertexes here and a, a relationship and on top of this, this let's try to introduce change feed and, and let's try to uh, see how we can uh, capture the changes that happen overall. So to do that quickly, um, let me just go back onto my resource group and let's try to add um, the function app. So let's call this function app data engineering function app and let's use the existing resource group which is my data engineering and um, function app and let's create this Okay, so we have the services provisioned. So let's jump on the Azure functions. And in the Azure function, we basically go on the functions and create, um, then look for the in portal template. Look for more templates and let's look for the Cosmos DB template here. So just type Cosmos and there you go, the trigger that we want here. It will ask for installing an, an extension here. So let's try to get that installed and going. Cool, so the installation is done. Now let's try to say trigger graph. Okay, let's just use a new Cosmos DB, let's select that and this will create the connection. Let's call our collection name. Okay, it's person DB and we'll create a lease collection as well. So let's just allow it to be created. And what it opens is your, so there'll be two files created. There'll be a function file uh, and then there'll be a project file. So uh, let's, the function file will, will have a template. So these, uh, this is a template right now, which kind of auto creates itself. Uh, then if you go back, you can, you'll find um, the function file as well, which has the connectivities, which you can validate. Um, and in the run file, let's just jump on and overwrite this code, okay, um, with this new piece that I have kind of slightly edited, not much though. So, and I'll explain that through. So what we're trying to do is we are essentially not only tracking the change in the document, but we are also trying to, to check if uh, the modified, if it is a modified employer, uh, and also the full JSON content, content which is, uh, you know, logged for the change that has happened. That's all. So let's just save this. And then we will just check on the logs here. So it is, as soon as it is, it is succeeded, the compilation, it starts to, it starts to run. Now let's try to make a change in here and let's try to add a new vertex. Um, let's a, say, um, employee and the employer value let's call it Microsoft let's say name Harry 
age 28 and let's just create this so there's a new third vertex created here and as soon as we jump on here we should get all of the information uh, you know logged here so basically what you see here is uh, it also tells you the ID of the document uh, the employer is Microsoft and the full JSON of the entire information that is created so that's handy that's quite handy and and further to this we can we can just enhance this code um, you know for the change feed whatever vertex is added or uh, edges you know and just trigger certain kind of functionalities uh, through this Azure function and and it, it it'll magically work so and that's that's essentially a very important feature I really and I really wanted to share with you all here and and I hope it's it's really helpful thank you so much